Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Two, three, testing, testing. Testing, one, two, three. Welcome to Module 1. This is Navigating the Media Maze. In the world of public relations, understanding the media's inner workings is as crucial as the story that you want to tell. It really is. This module, Navigating the Media Maze, is your guide through the complex network that is today's media landscape, providing the insights necessary for anyone, anyone at all, keen on managing their PR effectively or doing their own PR. The media operations on the currency of attention. The media operates on the currency of attention. It's it's a very competitive arena where countless stories jostle for what we call the spotlight. As someone handling your own PR, you need to comprehend and understand what makes a story not just newsworthy, but irresistible to media outlets. That is really important. I cannot uh, highlight that enough. The media wants content that captivates audiences. Um, They want content that drives traffic, and they want content that stimulates conversation. They want lots of other things, but they're the main. They're on the lookout for narratives that that offer novelty, conflict, human interest, or extraordinary visuals. Stories that will hold their ground in the fast-paced flow of news and trends. And it is extremely fast-paced these days. To begin with, it's essential to map the media terrain. Think of each media platform as as a territory uh, with its own culture and language and customs. Um, Think of it that way. Traditional media such as television and newspapers uh, and radio value authority and depth, while digital platforms like blogs and social media, well, they tend to prioritise on immediacy and engagement, although the media also certainly focus on immediacy as well. Understanding these nuances allows you to tailor your story to fit the format and audience of each platform. So I guess what I'm saying is it's really important that you understand each platform, each media platform. And of course, there's an extra one that I haven't mentioned so far, and that's podcasts. So there's television, There's radio, there's print, and now there's podcasts. So the media also values... Navigating the maze or the... Navigating the maze also requires knowledge of the news cycle. So what am I... Navigating the maze also requires knowledge of the news cycles. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me explain. Deadlines, and I experienced this for a long time, deadlines are the drumbeat to which journalists march. I'm going to repeat that. Deadlines are the drumbeat to which journalists march. Timing your story's pitch is absolutely crucial. So, for example, early mornings are often the best, um, the best time to catch a journalist's attention for daily news, because after that they're flat out. Um, while feature stories can be pitched with more flexibility, and the reason that's the case is because feature stories generally are timeless; they don't have to run today or tomorrow. Being aware of of the schedule and respecting it is absolutely key to establishing a positive relationship with media professionals. So what I mean by that is if you show an understanding of what a journalist or a producer or a chief of staff uh, or a newsroom in general is going through, if you show an understanding, then they will appreciate and show more respect to you. It's as simple as that. 
The media also values sources that understand The media also values sources that understand their needs. Um, journalists are under pressure to produce quality content quickly and at you know virtually every minute of the day. And by presenting them with well-researched, accurate and complete stories, you, you become a valuable resource for them. Um, and as well, Packaging your story with relevant statistics and quotes from credible sources and high quality visuals, if it's a television story, for example, can significantly enhance um, their appeal toward you and that story. But what does the media ultimately want? A lot of people ask me that. What do the media want? Well, they seek relevance and they seek impact. So in other words, your story should not only be interesting, but also resonate with the current socio... But what does the media ultimately... But what does the media ultimately want? A lot of people ask me that question. Well, in short, they seek relevance and impact. So in other words, your story should not only be interesting, but it also should resonate. It should resonate within society, within the location that you are living, for example, or the country that you are living. It should resonate. It should have the potential to affect the audience, um, evoke emotions or provoke thought. As well, uh, in the context of your own PR, the story must align authentically with your brand or your personal identity. This is really important. As, as authentically, as authenticity is, is a currency, as authenticity is a currency highly valued by both the media <clears throat> excuse me, and its consumers. Authenticity is so important. Being authentic. Um, I'll do another module on that uh, in, in the coming months and spend some time on that. I cannot press that point enough. So in this module, um, you've learned to think like a journalist, to anticipate the media's expectations, uh, we've explored strategies for crafting your pitch, finding your angle, and presenting your story in a way that, that meets the media's desires while staying true to your message, to your message. Uh, and this alignment is the sweet spot for, for any successful PR endeavour and understanding it will set you on, on a very significant path to media success through interactive tasks and real-world examples, you'll gain the confidence. You'll gain the confidence. It's a great line, isn't it? You'll gain, the, you'll gain the confidence to navigate the media maze and effectively communicate your narrative to the world. Thank you for listening. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.